Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Comfortable Spaces. My name is Danielle, for those of you who are brand new around here. I'm so happy to have you. And I love to talk all about affordable living and intentional homemaking. So today on the channel, we have a very large haul. Now, I know that a few weeks ago, I talked about having like my room reveal for my master bedroom series, and I have that filmed and ready to go. However, a lot of these items are actually gonna appear in my decor like of the room. So I figured I'm gonna throw this video in super quick before the filmed of the total room remodel comes out. I know it's been several weeks past and I keep saying that it's coming out, but I promise you next week it is absolutely coming out. It's gonna be my very next video, but I really did wanna show you all of these items because uh, the majority of them are in this space. So I wanted to show you them all before you got to see the entire room revealed and I am loving it. We've been up here for a couple of weeks now, living up here and it is so lovely, so beautiful. It is really just like, like, you know, it, it's my theme or whatever, but it is a really comfortable space. And I absolutely love it. I love how just relaxing it is, how sweet the space is. It just gives you such a wonderful vibe. And our new baby son has been living up here with us as well. And there's plenty of room for him. And it's just a fantastic space. So I'm really excited for next video. The very next video to come out will be the entire uh, room remodel. It's gonna be a decorate with me and you'll be able to see everything finished so I'm so excited to so make sure you stay tuned for that subscribe if you're new here and if you like thrifting content if you like um, different types of decor decorating and just um, homemaking in general content that's what I love to bring to you guys normally I make two videos a week recently I've just been making one video a week because we just had a new baby boy a couple weeks ago and so our attention has really been focused on him but I will be headed back to the two videos a week very very shortly so without further ado let me show you this ginormous haul that I have. So over the past two weeks or so, I have been to an estate sale that I really loved. Um, my husband and I used to hit up a couple of estate, estate sales here and there back in the day, but we haven't really done that recently. And he had seen a really nice estate sale estate sale in the um, just I was gonna say newspaper who reads a newspaper anymore like on his phone it showed up uh, somewhere of a, a really nice estate sale in one of the local towns so we went over there and we got some decent deals I'm not gonna lie here's the thing <clears throat> 
I'm always for a good deal. I'm always for a bargain. I'm also even more so for just an item that I think is really beautiful or really funky or whatever. So we got some really neat things at the estate sale. And then on a different day, I went to the thrift shop with my mom and I got more stuff than I ever expected to get from there. And then we also hit up a local antique store and I found some really beautiful pieces at the antique store that I am in love with. So it's a lot of things. I got a lot of things to show you. So we're just going to hop right in. And the very first thing that I got at the estate sale, this is honestly the very first thing that I saw that my husband and I were both like, oh, we really like that item. We really want to get it. So it is this lovely pitcher. It is this gorgeous pottery pitcher. It just has a person's signature on the bottom. Oh, I don't even think you can see that. There you go. It's just somebody's signature, so I think it's just a homemade um, situation. It's like rough and raw at the bottom, which I really love. It has this beautiful burgundy color, and then it has some speckling on the inside. Just a gorgeous picture, and I was like, I like this enough that I actually want to keep this in our bedroom. So um, it is actually going to be right here on the vanity behind me and kind of see some of the decorating that I've already done for uh, the Decorate With Me video. But this is also going to live on the vanity, at least for now. What I like about fun pieces like this is that you can use it for one area of decor in one season of your life. And then like, hey, a couple years later, ah, uh, this really fits in my kitchen now. So it gets moved there. So I like being able to move things around. So I really love this piece I thought it was absolutely beautiful and then the very next thing that I found at the um, estate sale goodness gracious was this lovely little antique candle holder I just thought it was super cute it came with the candle I'm not really a fan of the color of the candle but because it came with it I was like oh, I'll keep it in here for now I have a bunch of just plain white and cream candlesticks downstairs in our dining room because we actually burn a lot of just long candlesticks um, at dinner time just to like set a little ambiance for our family at dinner so I will probably switch at one of those candlesticks uh, for this candlestick but I just thought this was so cute oh I forgot to tell you the picture was $15 which is the most expensive thing that I got at the estate sale so I can't really complain about it and this lovely little antique candle holder was $5 and I thought it was really cute and sweet and it is also going to be living up here in our new master bedroom Okay, so the very next thing that I got at the estate sale was this rug. This was also only $5, so I thought that was so sweet. But it's just this beautiful kind of Turkish-esque style rug. I really liked the colors and the patterns. It's blue along the rim of the outside, and then it's got some nice um, tans and creams and browns and oranges on the inside. Really cute. So we've already been using this. This we actually put in our kitchen. There is an area under our sink super cold it's just because it's not over the basement it's over like a crawl space so we've tried insulating it it just really doesn't insulate well so I like to switch out the rugs that are there and the rug that we had there was kind of in really rough condition so I was very happy to find this like I said for only five dollars it's a pretty big rug like all in all so I was very happy with this but it's it's apparently from a place called new loom I don't know Either way, I thought it was a beautiful pattern, a beautiful style, and it matches with our kitchen. If you've not actually seen our kitchen reno video, I will link that in the description below. But that is a beautiful reno that we did that is mostly like this deep blue and white. So this actually fits really well in there. And I was very happy to find that for only $5. And then the very last thing that we got at the estate sale, I don't have it with me in here because it's already put away in the shed, but I will insert a clip um, right now so that you can kind of see how beautiful this is. But we got a ton of terracotta pots and not just like little terracotta pots, but like really, really big pots. And my husband was rummaging through the garage of the estate sale and he grabbed all these pots. He like piled them all in together and he took it up to the lady that was doing all the checkout. And he was like, hey, I have $7 on me. Can I get all these for $7? And she was was like yeah sure why not because there was no price tag on them so I think we got like five or so terracotta pots for seven bucks such a great deal because terracotta pots are definitely something that can cost you a, a nice chunk of money like it brand new at the hardware store so I was really really happy to find those 
So that was everything that I had gotten from the estate sale. And then like a week or two later, I ended up hitting Goodwill up with my mom. Now this was a Goodwill. I decided to go to like maybe 20, 25 minutes away. It was like a nice little drive to get there. And I wanted to hit that place up because I'd actually never been there before. And what I love about thrifting in general, Goodwill, all that kind of stuff, is every single store has different qualities about it. It has different things that are really wonderful about it, or it has like a lot of XYZ in stock. So when you go to the different stores, you can find different things. Now, the Goodwill that I go to the most near me, they have fantastic clothes. I get a lot of my clothes there. And they have a decent amount of like dishware and whatnot, but they are terrible with furniture. So I was like, let me check out this other Goodwill and see if I can find any good furniture finds. And I literally hit the jackpot. I not only found a side table for our couch, I also found a nightstand for my husband that I wanna remodel. So uh, let me show you some of the stuff that I got from the Goodwill. And the very first thing that I found, like literally I walked in the door of the Goodwill. And what I liked about this one is they had like little vignettes around the entire building that I thought was very lovely, like almost like store display display spaces like this Goodwill really took care of their displays and I really enjoyed that because it helped me kind of like see the style of what I was looking at and I saw this the moment that I walked into the Goodwill and I was like yeah I'm gonna take that there was actually a guy standing in front of it and I was like please 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 and then when he walked away he did not walk away with this in his hand so I grabbed it and it is this beautiful copper pitcher I just thought it was so just gorgeous it has this lovely patina all over it lovely patina inside you can tell that at one point there was a lid because it's like broken right here which is probably why it ended up in goodwill but i don't even care because i think it just looks stunning as is and i thought this would be a lovely piece of decor just sitting out in our new um master bedroom area just like a fun funky piece and i already have had it stylized on the side table that i purchased and i love it so i got this for six dollars and 49 cents if you saw my other goodwill haul that i literally just put up or my other thrift haul that i literally just put up a couple weeks ago i was kind of talking about it there but like i really feel like they've been hiking up their prices a lot lately which i'm not too thrilled about but this was just such a fun piece that i did not want to give it up for six dollars and 49 cents i was like okay cool i will take it it's a great piece so i was really enjoying this lovely little number and i am excited to have this in our new master bedroom Okay guys, so the next thing that I got at Goodwill, I don't know why, but I literally went gaga over this item. Like I was just kind of doing like a fun pan of the like thrift with me, like the photo area, um, like the paintings and all that kind of stuff for my video. And I saw this like out of the corner of my eye down the aisle and I was just immediately drawn to it and had to get it. But it is this gorgeous painting and it's like an actual painting. Like it's not a print, it's an actual on canvas painting of, in my opinion, what this gives me vibes is like, just kind of like really old school European streets vibes. And I actually, what I really loved about it, what spoke to me is I had spent some time in my graduate program, um, spending some time in Cyprus, studying conflict over there. And I absolutely loved the streets of Cyprus. And I have a photo that I took while I was there that honest, like, honest to God looks exactly like this picture. And it just reminded me of those beautiful old European European streets. Cyprus is, I guess, not really, I mean, maybe it's kind of European, but it's like, if you don't know where Cyprus is, it's an island that is right outside of the Middle East, actually. So it's like half split between Greece and Turkey, like half of it is a Greek territory and half of it is Turkish territory. So it's kind of like this beautiful middle spot between like Europe and where the Middle East begins. So this is exactly this. So that is exactly what this picture reminded me of, or just like some old school Italian streets, whatnot. And I loved the frame. I literally loved everything about this painting. I paid $9.49 for it, which I feel is a total bargain for like actual artwork, like a real painting not like a print behind glass. So I absolutely love this. I know exactly where I want to put it in our master bedroom and I was very excited to find this piece. Okay, so the very next thing that I found, I'm gonna try to like 
pop it into the frame, but I don't think I'm gonna do a really good job with it. So I'll definitely insert a clip of what it looks like in our space. It is definitely tattered and torn, but I love it in our space. And it is this beautiful table. Oh gosh, you're not gonna be able to see this. But yeah, it's this lovely table. I don't even know why I'm trying to get furniture into the frame here, but it's this beautiful table that just had such a fun top to it. It almost looks like a tray, like you would get served a nice tray at like a luxury hotel or something like that. It's just absolutely beautiful. It has nothing on the bottom of it, just like an X bracket kind of holding it together. I was so excited when I found this table. It's just like the perfect size, style, everything. It's actually really tall, so it sits kind of like in line with our couch. We have a couch up here, which you will see in my upcoming like full renovation of our master bedroom space but I just absolutely loved it I'm gonna put a nice lamp on it I need to to like thrift a lamp next it's the next thing that I want to do but I've already been like working on styling it and putting all of our decor on it and whatnot and I just felt like it was gonna be a great table to like have a nice cup of coffee sit on to sit next to my couch read a book just take some time to have like a nice relaxing space that was one of the things that when me and my husband decided we wanted to remodel this room is like, you know, as we're having more kids and our family is growing and expanding, we just wanted to have a little bit of a sanctuary space. We have never hung out in our bedroom before, like our old bedroom. We never like spent a lot of time in it, but this room is like the entire top floor of our house. So it really does give us our own private sanctuary space. So I thought this would be a great piece to have next to our couch so that we could just relax and drink coffee and enjoy the morning and and really get some time to just kind of separate from all of the craziness of life. So I was very, very excited about this piece and it was only $14.99 at Goodwill. And then the last piece that I actually purchased at Goodwill, I will insert a clip here because again, it is a furniture piece, but it is this beautiful nightstand that I found for my husband. It was super funky. It had like this gold placard on the top of it. And then the like drawer space, it's not even a drawer, it's a cabinet space underneath, um, had this really funky latch to it that me and my mom immediately both said that it made us think of like an old school ice chest. Like it was just a very neat piece and I took a picture of it, I sent it to my husband. I was like, hey, what do you think of this? And he was like, oh yeah, I love that, buy that immediately. So I did, I want to strip it the same way I'm gonna be stripping our other nightstand or my nightstand on this side. And I really love this piece. I think it's gonna be so fun in our master bedroom. So I'm really excited to get this piece like stripped and just cleaned up, give it some new life. And it was only $19.99, so I thought it was a really great price. That's how much my other nightstand was. So. For 40 bucks, we got two nightstands that are gonna be in beautiful condition once I spruce them up. I'm very, very excited about it. And then the last place that I hit up over this like past two week time period was a local antique store. I say local, it's actually like a half hour away. I hit up the Goodwill on the way out there. Um, but I love this antique, it's an antique mall, so like, I'm sure if, you're, if you've clicked on this video, you know the difference between an antique store and an antique mall, but essentially an antique mall is like all those different booths, if you will, of different vendors, which I really like because sometimes you can find one that's like full of tchotchkes that you're just like, mm, this isn't really my jam, but then you find one that's like your exact style and you purchase like everything in that booth. That's essentially what I did with this particular haul. I went into one booth that I really enjoy her stuff normally and I ended up buying a bunch of her stuff because she just she just has a fantastic way of like lovely, beautifully, not lovely, beautifully curating some gorgeous items, putting them together, making a lovely booth design. It always makes you wanna buy everything in her space, which I think makes for a great curator. So the very first thing that I got was this gorgeous basket. I love that has like these old um, weathered, like leather handle strippy things. I just thought this would be a fantastic basket to like carry the boys laundry around in or like maybe have some like folded blankets or some some kids toys or something like that in our master bedroom that we could have as like a storage space. I love having 
open storage spaces like baskets are great for that. So I'll like have baskets for like magazines or books or I'll have baskets for blankets or I'll have baskets for toys. And I feel like it takes a whole bunch of clutter and makes it look kind of beautiful in this like lovely decorative way. So I was very excited to find this huge massive basket. It was just $18 at the antique store, which for an antique store, if you know, you know, that's a great deal because antique stuff is not cheap. This is why I like to thrift more than antique, but sometimes you can get some really great deals at the antique store. So you gotta check it out anyway. <laughs> and then the next thing that I got at this same woman's booth. Now, funny story. I actually was not going to purchase these items. I saw them, I thought they were gorgeous, but I didn't wanna spend that much money on them. I, it was $20 for two of these beautiful vintage candlesticks. So, I mean, they were $10 a piece, $20 for the set. Um, so I ended up getting them, not because I was specifically wanting to send $20 on two candlesticks, but because as I was picking up the basket, the basket was actually hanging from like a rack on the ceiling. As I was picking the basket up and bringing it down in this tight little crammed booth space, the basket knocked the other candlestick over and it broke like completely in half. And I was like, well, I guess I'm buying these now. And my mom was with me. She was so kind. She actually ended up buying them for me because she felt so bad that I had knocked it over. Um, probably because I got her clumsy jeans. But um, I was very thankful for her that she ended up purchasing these for me. And the thing is with the other candlestick, it like literally fell like and cracked right in half and broke into two. So when you put the two pieces back together, other than a very, very small chip that in the back that you can't really see, um, it lines up perfectly. So my husband is just going to Gorilla Glue the heck out of the other one and then we will have two lovely candlesticks in our bedroom space that I was not planning on getting but I'm not even mad about because it is quite a lovely piece. The next thing that I got at the antique store was just this vintage book. I thought that pages were just so lovely. I love just the style of all of the like kind of old raw pages. You can tell they've been turned like a million times. And I love books that are incredibly old. So this one was copyrighted 1885 which I just thought was so fun and funky. This is called Promise, it's by Robert Grahams. And I just thought it was a beautiful book. I have a couple of other books that I'm stylizing on this little table that you're gonna see again in my video next week of the whole room renovated. And I just thought it would be a fun little book to add to my collection. And it was $7, so I thought it was a decent price for an antique book. And then the very last thing that I got also from the woman's booth with the basket and the candlesticks were these beautiful coaster, were, was, was this beautiful coaster set. And it has this lovely like kind of blue bird. So my husband and I are pretty sure that these were terracotta tiles that were probably used for um, like vintage, um, backsplash or something like that, that she most likely then um, glued some felt onto the bottom and made this like nice little coaster set. This was $12 for the four coasters. Not a terrible price. And I specifically wanted to get them, A, because I thought they were beautiful. I, I just love the like terracotta tile and all of the glazing on the front with the beautiful design with the birds and everything. Like if you've been around and you know my channel, you know that like, like blue and white is definitely like my thing. It's my style. I have it all over my home. But we drink a lot of coffee up here or have our water bottles up here or have drinks up here just in general. So I wanted to make sure I had a set of coasters up here so that the furniture that is so lovely and antique and vintage and beautiful in this room doesn't get destroyed. So I was very, very excited to have found these and I can't wait to have them out and stylized again around our room. So that is everything for this literally massive haul. I just love every single piece that I found recently. I've been on a huge 
thrift haul, antiquing, kind of estate sale-esque haul situation binge lately. If you've been watching my channel, you've been seeing more and more of these types of videos. And that's because we had an entire room that we needed to get prepped and decorated and ready for our, you know, living space to be up here. So I was really excited for all of my different finds. And I can't wait to show them to you next week, all stylized, all beautiful and ready to go in my house decorate with me. So definitely Definitely come back to see that pay attention for that like I said earlier subscribe if you are new around here I'm so grateful for you watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoy thrift hauls because they're awesome and leave me a comment down below about what your favorite piece was during this fun little haul and I cannot wait to see you guys next week because it is the big reveal week have a wonderful day I can't wait to talk to you soon bye